time up. Let's see how this goes. I've uh, been suffering from a little bit of uh, sciatica, like down my legs and my lower back. So I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> but couldn't have picked a better day for it. It's nice and uh, flat. Hopefully when I'm in that paddling position, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But we'll find out. Get this camera on and we'll head out, see if we can get some snapper. That feels fine. Okay. Mini waves. <laughs> Those waves are no problems. That's for sure. Ah, the position's actually feeling pretty good on my back. It might actually be the one activity that's not an issue. <laughs> A bit more comfortable with the legs over how good is this day wow so yeah welcome back uh, or me welcome back i guess it's been a while um <clears throat> uh yeah no good to be back in the water what an amazing day hopefully we can actually manage to get a fish but look at it dead calm pretty much zero wind water looks blue hopefully it doesn't work against me but we'll get our gear out We'll drop for some snapper, we'll try and get some liveys, but this is amazing. And yeah, I've been suffering from a bit, uh, this week, I've never had it before, but sciatic pain, like, down my leg. So I've done something to my lower back, and it's pushing on the nerve, and it's like sending these, like, sort of electric, super sharp pains straight down my leg, making it, like, hard to sort of get up and, or sit down and things like that, so... God, I'm getting old, I guess. But I've never had something like this before, and it's it's actually quite intense at times. So, I don't know. I've been sort of just stretching and walking and things like that over this week. Haven't really had the enthusiasm to get out amongst uh, the water. But we've been doing things. We're slowly getting uh, the in-between boat ready, which we probably will make an appearance next week. But I think I talked a little bit about what's been going on in that one as well. But that video won't be ready till the week after, I don't think. So, anyway, let's talk about fishing. Um, yep, bait jig. So we're going to try and get some liveies. Hopefully that doesn't prove to be too difficult. At this time of the year, it shouldn't be too bad, but <laughs> never know. So liveies on, then we'll put some plastics on. Drop the plastics while we wait, hopefully for that livey to just go screaming off. Which hopefully will happen. Slide her out and let's get moving. We're on top of something here. Hopefully, this is going to be bait central. Huh? Or not? <laughs> Just drop it down again. There's plenty of things on the sounder here. It's only five meters of water. Typically, you wouldn't be able to sort of be here. Oh, we've got something. Ah, not these guys. <coughs> All right. Well, it wouldn't be a trip down here with a, without one of these little eastern pommel fruit. But, yeah, we'll let you go. Hopefully, we can find something else. Normally, I wouldn't actually be sitting here because normally the swell's too big. But, oh, it's definitely bait down there. Hopefully, it's not just the pommel fruits. 
Oh, we're loaded up. Oh, got off again. That bait got a lot thicker all of a sudden. Okay, here we got this stuff. Come on, that looks like a yucca, more yucca shape. Oh yeah, it's only a little one, but that's a win. Probably should have got this ready first. Alright, buddy. Okay. Here we get our soft plastics out. Start filling that up. And get up. Oh, perfect. In you go, mate. Let's just sort of keep an eye on that surf though. Because it only take one little rogue wave to sort of pop up to make it a bit, <laughs> bit of a problem. A couple more yakas like that and it'll make it very easy for me. There's another one. Beauty. Just that classic bait fish shape. <laughs> That's what we want. Be nice if we got a few, maybe two each time. Look how flat it is. I'm not even moving. I literally just can paddle backwards with my hand. Yeah, oh, not yet. Another one. Go it. Perfect. That's the way to do it, guys. Just jump straight in the bucket for me. Oh, we got a couple this time. Ah, oh, double pom for it. Oh no, one, one yakka up the top. <laughs> Look at this guy. We get a little stripey. Get rid of you. Yeah, mate. A bit spiky on top of these guys. <laughs> He's cool. See you, buddy. One more drop. And we load it up. Here we go. Oh, we got a bigger one. Big yakka. Nice. Oh. No. Oh, he got away. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. Fair enough. You win. Ah, yeah. Well, no, we'll finish up. We'll get another pump for it as well. Right, we'll get you back in the water and I think we'll take off because I think we've got a decent amount now and we can always catch more. Well, well we think we can always catch more. You know what, let's get one more. <laughs> All right, well, bait proved to be pretty easy. Look at that, stacked with some good ones in there. All right, let's get moving. Actually, we'll put the plastic on straight away. And we'll just go classic crazy legs straight off the bat. Beautiful, let's do it. Get one of these little baits on that way. At least one of us is doing some really good fishing <laughs> while we muck around on the drops. Okay, just one nice. Alright, we're fishing. We are fishing. Now let's find a nice mark here. We'll head out to this little bunch here. Anything we see on the way, we'll drop on. Drop down to 20 meters. So, bit of depth. And there's something mid, like, something at about the 15 meter mark there. It's worth dropping on that. Never know what it could be. And there's a little bit of a patch of something underneath as well, so. Hopefully, we can get some interest on that. Going backwards, big time. Oh, this came off like that. Damn. Oh no, it's still on. Wow, what's he doing? Here we go. 
Ah, it's a Mac tuna. <laughs> well, it's exciting for a second, but he's not really the target species, but he's a pretty good looking one. Let's get him in and we'll deal with him. How far down is that, uh, is that bait or that hook? Come here, there we go. Oh, it's not a bad fish though, look at that. <laughs> Super easy, which is great. Oi. I think he'll be just fine. <laughs> I feel like it's taking too long to get down, so I'm going to put something slightly heavier on. See if we can get get it down. Like as soon as I see the mark, by the time I'm getting down on it, there's still a bit of current and it's sort of taking me off the mark. So if we can get it down a bit quicker, I think it'd be helpful. Make sure we're really pinpointing where we want to be. Okay, something, something's grabbed it now. The weird kind of take though, whatever it is, it's just a big heavy weight at the moment. What are we gonna end up with here? I was just changing back to the other jig head because I was like, you know what, I'm not satisfied with that jig head. What's going on here? Our wheels half unwound. Where's he going? Now we're going over there. It's something. We've caught something. Oh, what? Battery low. Right, so in typical GoPro style, we've lost our uh, our camera but it's going to end up being a shark one of these. He's done a good job of looking himself up. back on now oh what's that whale or tuna <laughs> let's get another livey out but yeah no nah, we just got that shark off hopefully i got it on that camera but yeah not that exciting yeah look at that interesting showing sort of coming on the edge but we'll put another livey out we managed to salvage the hook a lot of the time those sharks will ruin the hook or the wire but this one looks like it's actually come off fairly well which is nice but yeah, you can see where that weird tugging was coming from. He was basically, uh, oh, I missed it. You can see his sort of weird tugging is because he was, he'd wrapped himself up in the line. A lot of the time they start spinning around and around. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's what you end up with. But another live yarn. See if we can find a proper fish. <laughs> Otherwise we might be forced to do, <laughs> yeah. Reef shark catching cook, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, get another love here. See if we can find something a little bit more exciting. <laughs> we caught something. I've got a feeling this is going to be a rock cod. The way it's sort of just getting hauled in. Well, we've caught a lot of the undesirables, that's for sure. Uh, if you were much bigger, we'd almost take you home and eat you, I think, mate. <laughs> Just 
don't want to touch the uh, top spines on these guys because they are actually very painful. <laughs> okay. If you open your mouth, you'll just come off now, mate. There you go. <laughs> Well, yeah, still not that snapper we were hoping for yet. something this time. I think it might just be a bigger rock cod. He's just getting dragged up. Yeah. <laughs> what have we got? Oh, Maori cod. Hey, hey, hey. These are actually good eating. Let's just see how big this guy is. Oh, but we're going right through our lines here, which is not ideal. Yeah, well, let's go this way. We'll just get away from our own line. Okay, we'll just get him in and check his size and see uh, if we're going to keep this guy because if he's big enough, they're actually quite a delicious fish. Okay. Just trying to get a good layout with him. Yeah, I think he would be bigger than 45, but I don't actually have a measure with me, so I might let him go. He's a beautiful fish though, and he would actually be delicious. Jeez, he's good, isn't he? Ooh, you're right on the button, mate. And uh, yeah, if, if I had a proper measure, I might actually be tempted to take it, but I'll let you go. I'm use the pliers though, because that hookup seems definitely embedded in the front top of the jaw. All right, mate, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Not a bad fish actually. If it was slightly bigger, I'd be more confident in taking him for sure. Yeah. Really need to put that sticker back on. I used to have a proper sticker with the proper measurements, but he's just it's just a bit too close to to muck around with, to be honest. Sugar. Hopefully not a shark because we've been out here for a long time now. <laughs> it was down near the bottom though, so there's a very good chance it could be a shark, but <laughs> If it is that Mac tuna, I think I might be taken home. Oh. oh, I wonder what it is. Could be a snapper. It's definitely towing me around a bit. got a camera because my other camera's actually conked out well not conked out it's actually run out of SD card I've been out here that long trying to catch a fish <laughs> so Ooh. okay what have we got what have we got should be interesting 
He's just there now. Oh, 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 oh. I think it might be a... So that battery is just turned off. I think we've got a snapper here, but I think it's a pretty good one. I think we might just make some room here. Oh, it's a really big one. Whew. And you know what? I've been out here all day, so I'm not going to let him go. Okay. Ooh, that is not a great, that is not a great hookup either. Let's see if we can, ah, yowch. Oh, <laughs> textbook. Yeah, she got some spikes in the leg, I think, man. That's not a bad snapper, if I don't say so myself, but, uh, geez, it took some doing. At the end of the day, that was on the livey. He's a pretty decent fish, actually. Um, probably around that 80 kind of mark again. Um, but yeah, no, I, uh, yeah, I have been out here for hours and hours and hours, so I'm definitely taking him home once again. I know it's a bigger, on the bigger side, and normally I would let him go, but I've been out here for a long time. <laughs> so, let's, um, yeah, like is there anything we didn't catch today? Like man, we've, we've covered some species, but nothing decent enough to take, take home until now. Livey did it in the end, I went out wide, my camera's turned off or ran out of SD cards, that one's battery's gone dead for some reason. Um, but yeah, went out wide, spent some time out there, Livey um, got stuck on the bottom and we snapped it off and I got all the way back in here. I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try. The wind's changed, it's blowing from the south all of a sudden. I thought, you know what, maybe that's enough, just a bit of a change in the uh, weather might be enough to turn them on. And so I came back to the spot I was in at the very beginning of the day <laughs> and yeah, we got lucky. Okay, we'll get the knife out and we'll take care of him and um, yeah. No, very, very, very happy. We eat tonight, which is always a good thing. <laughs> Still might have another drop or two. I've got nowhere to be except to catch fish. So, yeah, we'll uh, take care of him now. Okay, sorry, buddy. Got a hook back. Yeah, pretty good shape, actually. Maybe we've got one more livey there. Maybe we'll just whack him out as well. Might as well. Last one in the... We went through them all in the end. If we can get him. Here we go. Oh, whoa! <laughs> the old fish in the crutch. Come on, buddy. Off he goes. Swim down, mate. Swim down. He's just hanging under there. Clear cursor. Alright, let's get back on the marks. See if we can find some of the big ones. See if it'd be lovely to get one on this new reel that I'm just dying to catch something on. <laughs> just cannot seem to catch something on my new reel. But, the old slammer did a good job. Whoa. 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 Oh, what was that? I could see it just flying off and I just flicked the bail arm over. Oh. Damn. Whatever that was, took a liking to him straight off the back. Oh, look at that. Bit it off clean as well. I wonder what that was. Could be shark. It <laughs> could be some random mackerel or something. Could have been a shark just following that snapper up. Who knows, mate. That was exciting for a second. It's a pity I don't have that front-facing camera on, so you, we kind of missed the action, but... Wow. Okay. Well, turns out we won't be putting that live here out. <laughs> well, we will be, but not for long. Well, I think that uh, will probably just about do me. That wind's picking up and uh, some of the stuff I'm dropping on is like pretty good looking stuff. Like, and if I'm not getting any hits now, I reckon I might have uh, just had that little brief bite. Ooh. <laughs> oh, something's, oh, something's chased it up again. I wonder what that was. Something grabbed the tail. Where we got, oh, we got little cuts. Maybe Taylor or who knows. But I think it's time to call it. See if we can uh, get in unscathed. Hopefully that swell hasn't picked up because I'm looking for a nice easy paddle in as well. And then we'll see if we can actually stand up on the beach. And that would be uh, a big win. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you on the next vid. Nice and easy.
Beautiful. It's actually good. I think the paddle's actually worked it out a bit. See you later.